Good day, YouTube. Some sad, sort of sad news uh, to cover here. Uh, I hope everybody's doing okay with uh, this human malware that's traveling around our world and reap reaping havoc on everything. Um, so there's going to be some pretty big changes on my channel coming up. I've decided to get back to my roots of doing what I truly enjoy doing and should have primarily focused on from the beginning anyways. Um, but regardless, I, I'm huge changes. We're getting back to what we used to do. So the sad news is I have sold my truck. My 2003 F350 7.3 liter is gone. Um, it had 500,000 kilometers. It was, it was getting up there. It was, it seemed to have more problems arising on it, and I spent more time fixing it than we did. A, than we did end up driving it. So I ended up purchasing a little car <laughs> to drive around instead of driving the truck all the time. So uh, a gentleman here, a farmer, just around the corner from me, actually uh, made me an offer on the truck, and I hummed and hawed about it for a little while, and decided, you know what? Yeah, maybe I will take the offer. Uh, but in the meantime, I was trying to decide what I was going to buy. And I c just couldn't figure it out. You know, I looked at F-150s because I really love my F-150. And I really wanted like a 2012 F-150. But I just, I couldn't find one for a decent price. Uh, so I looked at some Rams. I uh, looked at a Colorado, a Sierra, uh, a Tahoe. Uh, I looked at a Durango. Uh, looked at a Pathfinder, a Mitsubishi L, and I looked at a whole bunch of different vehicles and just couldn't make up my mind about what I wanted to get and found one that I really liked and unfortunately somebody beat me to it. They were going to look at it at 3 p.m. And I was like, great. Okay, well, let me know if the deal falls through because I'm interested in having a look. Well, she got back to me that night at... Of all times, it was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, she messaged me, and I said, absolutely, I'll be there at 9 o'clock in the morning. It was about an hour and a half drive from where I was, and uh, drove out and looked over the vehicle, and there was a few things wrong with it, and she was willing to come down substantially on her price due to what was wrong with it, and that, that's not what I offered, that's actually what she said she would like to see out of it, and I was okay with that, so... I ended up buying it, but um, yeah, I'm super excited to to share this with you guys and all the haters telling me that I sold a crown jewel of a truck. Yeah, I know, but trust me, that thing was, it was having all kinds of electrical issues. It actually caught on fire under the hood. My kids and I were just getting ready to leave and it started billowing smoke out of the engine bay and uh, there's a, where the two batteries come together there's a junction box and that was loose it was corroded and it literally melted and started melting all the way up uh, it was pretty terrifying actually and a guy driving by actually had a bottle of water and we managed to dump that on there and uh, I managed to put a new junction I think it's called junction box whatever and um, so I managed to fix that and then two days later my glow plug relay went out truck wouldn't start in the cold and I mean we're in Canada we get some cold weather here and it's not always practical to plug your vehicle in especially where I'm living I, I can't just can't plug it in and then um, so I fixed a glow plug relay and then I had a fuel leak <laughs> and it was a substantial fuel leak I mean I'm talking like it was pouring liters and liters not just drops it was pouring liters and liters out so I fixed the fuel leak at the uh, uh, fuel bowl, and it was okay. It was great. Another week later, well, then it started leaking at the fuel line at the valve cover. So then, of course, you got to pull all that apart. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. So I fix all that, and then I'm driving down the road with my kids, and from wheel bearing goes. They were just done, and wheel bearings were just done. We did them six months ago with moog one so I, and i'm not running large tires it was factory tires they're about a 33 inch tire and so wheel bearing goes so i did the wheel bearing 
No big deal. Cheap. Do it myself. Well, then I had uh, axle seals going. Okay, great. So decide to do the axle seals. Well, in the process, I realized that my pinion seal is leaking. I'm like, oh, well, I may as well do that. Pull my diff cover off, and there is shards and not really shards but there was my gears were grinding <laughs> long story short and i was like wow like this thing is just it hates me <laughs> so then i'm like great then let me decide if i want to do that so i put it all back together and then truck won't start i actually couldn't even get into the truck my alarm would not allow me to gain access to the vehicle it was locking me out my remote wouldn't work so i ended up having to use the key and of course the alarm screaming away and i ended up having to disconnect that and trying to figure out what the heck was going on there well there was actually two different security systems in that vehicle one provided by our insurance companies out here because of the number one stolen truck and then an aftermarket one that the previous owner put in and it was just Things were going downhill on that truck. I mean, let's not forget that that thing was so big that if we wanted to go wheeling, we couldn't go wheeling because if we got stuck, nobody was there to pull us out. You know, we were there to pull other people out but or, or tow their side-by-sides there, but that's not what we enjoyed. We enjoyed, you know, backcountry exploring. We enjoyed, you know, adventuring out into the unknown. And that truck was just was so big that it kind of took the fun out of it. Even though it was like a tank and it would go up about anything, if there was any sort of looseness in the ground, you were going to end up in the center of the earth. So that's why I decided to cut my losses while I could and get into something else. So if you want to see what I got, please stay tuned. I will be doing a reveal on that coming very shortly here so in the meantime take your best guess down in the comments on what we got i think you'll be pleasantly surprised uh, i don't think very many people are going to guess this so i'm i'm ecstatic i've already talked about it with a few other companies and they're on board we're going to do some pretty cool stuff so back to my roots man so let's get at it so be safe out there rate comment and subscribe